Hi there, and welcome to 60 Plus Sit Down Comedy. My name is Phil Lowe. The other week I did a great video on talking to inanimate objects, and it got a lot of fantastic responses, and thank you for that. So today I thought I'd make a video about talking to animals. Nothing particularly wrong in that, but the specifics of talking to animals where you call yourselves mummy and daddy. Now most people when they buy a pet are in complete denial of the fact that one day they will call themselves mummy and daddy and then it will go on for the rest of the animal's life. No way, they say, are we calling ourselves mummy and daddy. Tiddles is just a little kitten. Tiddles is just a little puppy. Tiddles is just a sweet little snake. Or Tiddles is just a nice little hamster. Then one day, Tiddles escapes from the kitchen and has made its way down the garden towards a very busy motorway. We panic. We can't find Tiddles in the house at all. So we look out of the window and there in the long distance is Tiddles about to go under the hedge towards a stream of very, very heavy traffic. We panic but try to stay calm. Tiddles! We go. Tiddles! Tiddles doesn't seem to hear us, so we talk a little bit louder. Tiddles! Tiddles! Tiddles suddenly looks round. We've got its attention. But it also seems very interested in the motorway and a great way to die. So it starts carrying on. Tiddles! We go, and then in the emergency moment, we go. Tiddles! Tiddles! Come to Daddy! Yes! Come to Daddy! Come to Mummy! And Tiddles suddenly starts to turn and makes its way back up the garden, albeit extremely slowly. Come on then, we say, making now the gestures. Come on, Tiddles! Who's oh, a good boy? Yes, is a very good boy. Come on, Tiddles! Z come to Mummy! Come to Daddy! We've got food. Come on. Come on, Tiddles. Oh, it's a good boy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Come on, Tiddles. Come on. And we pick Tiddles up and we hold him safely in our hands and we kiss little Tiddles on the head. There's a good boy, Tiddles. Thank you for coming home. Mummy and Daddy are very pleased with you. Time goes on and we start making up funny bits of language that we only speak to the cat. For example, we open the front door and the cat's waiting there meowing and you understand, of course, that it's been sat there all afternoon desperate for you to come home. So we open the front door and the cat seems to be stuck halfway between the front door and actually going into the kitchen. And we go, come on, come on Tiddles, oochie boochie. Uchi Buchi. Now where has this come from? And then we start chatting to the cat. Because daddy's out. Or mummy's out. And maybe mummy's been in a bit of a bad mood earlier that day. And so we have a little chat to the cat. And we stroke its little face. There we go. Oh, so it's daddy's baby. We go. No, mummy's not coming home yet. Mummy's been in a grumpy mood today. Well, never mind. Me and you are here, aren't we? We go. Who is daddy's little baby? Who is daddy's little fella? Handsome boy. Of course, little tiddles will need feeding. And we go to the vet or the supermarket or a combination of both to find out exactly what expensive food we need to buy for little tiddles. Often it's in the form of crunchy biscuits or some sloppy food. And for a couple of months, Little Tiddles is more than happy eating these things. But then one day, it gives you that look as if to say, I'm bored with these, could you please slaughter a live animal in the back garden for my own desires? And, you know, it's not always that appropriate. So as an alternative, you nip to the local butchers and buy it some meat. A good example would be that you buy three lamb chops. So you bring home the lamb chops, little Tiddles goes absolutely crazy around the kitchen, 
tries to tear the front off the washing machine in its desperate desire to get hold of some of the lamb chops and you go oh look bless bless he wants some lamb chop and you delicately cut little slices off and throw the bone away tossing little slices to the floor for little tiddles to go <coughs> after that little tiddles looks up at you as if that's not quite enough so you and the missus then have a discussion about the remaining two lamb chops and you decide perhaps for little tiddles' sake that perhaps you could get away with some baked beans tonight little tiddles looks very happy you chop into the second lamb chop little tiddles wolfs it down little tiddles is utterly delighted little tiddles goes out of the front door into the garden and throws the whole lot up <laughs>